We warned you not to come back on our territory. Get that son of a bitch! Jesus Well, the Murphys can order Arthur around all they want. He doesn't care. Now, what I'm doing is some lockbox locations. And I may have done a few of them in previous videos. But these lockboxes contain important things and some of it money. But these are also trinkets and parts of trinkets that you could probably use in building and crafting. So let's get on with some lockbox locations, etc. And the first one is going to be the train, which I never knew existed. So again, let's get on with this. The first location is the wrecked train. I never even knew about this. And well, I got down to this area and cross over the river here. And there is the wrecked train. Again, I never even knew about this. This is my fourth playthrough. I just found out about this. I never paid attention. Yeah. This is really, really interesting. And there are some lock boxes containing gold bars and other valuable items. So let's get Arthur exploring. Right here on the map, uh, Granite Pass, right here, right where I'm showing you, is the wrecked train. And yeah, I never knew about this. Now that I've found it, probably be a regular stop when I play a fifth or sixth or seventh time. So, like I said, there's nothing of value around here. So, again... Arthur's just going to take a look around. Inside this upside down box car is the first lock box you find. And it's a chest, actually. Arthur's got to pull it out. And then, well, what do we got? Billfold, coin sack. Large jewelry bag. Yeah. Some decent money. I wasted a lot of time trying to get to the engine. And so I'm going to show you probably the best way to get to the engine right now. Okay, you start right here. And you run up this path. And you want to run past these parts. You want to keep running up. Did a little editing. Like I said, I wasted a lot of time. And you want to kind of come around. Nope. You don't want to come around here. You kind of have to go up this area right here. And once you go up this area... You get a good run and start. Yeah, this is fun. But you'll see what I do after this.
Okay, like I said, I wasted a lot of time. Now it's broad daylight. Jump out of the engine, and you're kind of like where you need to be. Just walk down to your horse and ride off. Nothing of value left. That is the first place. And again, I never even knew of this place. I found out about it from some other internet sites. So I decided to check it out. Okay, I actually cut to this other area, which is not too far from the abandoned train, and it is this cabin. Not a lockbox here, but some gold nuggets, I believe, or a gold nugget. You enter this cabin, these guys had fought over the find of a gold nugget, and they killed each other. Kind of sad, but... To Arthur's benefit. Also, there is a somewhat interesting weapon that you can find outside of the cabinet. Doesn't look like there's anything else of value. Some stuff on the nightstand, you know. I'll loot the cabin, then I'll show you where the weapon is. Right here by the stump behind the cabin is the Hunter Hatchet. It's a unique weapon, and you can pick it up. It counts toward um, completing the game if you want to do 100%. Otherwise, it's just a unique item to find. On the map, the cabin's location, Dodd's Bluff, is right here. Again, it's not too far away from the abandoned or the wrecked train. And it's something else you can just add to interesting locations. Next location will be heading east. And you pick up the shark tooth trinket, which is helping with horse bonding. If you look at the compendium, the shark tooth trinket is yeah, the equipment and the shark tooth trinket will permanently increase players horse bonding experience by 10%. That means you can bond with your horse more quickly and get to level 4 more quickly. Now on the map it's located right here. It is way, way west. It is far this little bit of land. You can go to the west, and it's west of Ansburg. You got to actually use your horse to swim partially to get here. We're heading north, and this is the very useful eagle talent. Um, location. If you're playing as uh, John, you can't swim. So you're better off getting this as Arthur because it's right here on this patch of ice. I'll show you on the map. Dead Boot Creek right here, right at, toward the end of the map. And yeah, 
This is the lockbox location for the trinket. The Hawk Talon locate, lo, trinket uh, permanently decreases speed at which stamina drains when drawing a bowl by 30%. So you can draw a bowl much longer and be more effective at archery. And the next location I'm going to show you is not too far away from this location. This location is a frozen cave, and it's not too far away from where you hunt the legendary bison. You uh, have it to the north of Lake Isabella, and it's right here, right on the map. And in this cave contains something very important if you're going to make a certain trinket. The Cobalt Petrified Wood is good if you're going to make the Boar Tusk Trinket, or Talisman. And now, let's move on to another piece of item that is good for another Talisman and Trinket. And it is outside of Rhodes. Just outside of Rhodes, there's this abandoned longhouse. And... It is the location of um, some shell fragments, and I'll show you. The abalone shell fragment is good for the bison horn talisman. And eventually, if you're going to make all these trinkets or talismans, you're going to need parts. And I'm showing you where there's some valuable ones as well as some valuable trinkets and talismans. I hope you found this video informative. If you like it, feel free to leave a thumbs up. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post seven video game related videos a week, Sunday through Saturday, and you want to stay informed. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.